Hey dudes, and welcome to today's vlog. Today, I just got Mallory from daycare, and she's having her first real banana. She's had purees of banana, but this is her first real banana. And I put it in this mesh thing, and she's loving it. Are you loving it? <laughs> what do you think? You can't show too much of you because you're naked. You like to eat naked, huh? <laughs> Look at her little feet. <laughs> Switching her toes. Oh, you showing it off? You showing it off? <laughs> oh no, you can't throw it away. Okay, take your soggy, mushy banana back. I don't want to touch it. Oh man, you are so cute. Such a cute face. <laughs> Alright guys, I just went and checked the P.O. box and we have a fun little thing that I want to open. I just read the card, but I'll reread the card here. Will you? <laughs> Mallory's asleep. We have her balloon so she can see it. So, it's, it's from... Our car. Yeah, well, and then we'll have a video account of it. Let's do it. Let's get in right now. <laughs> There's a guy that just pulled in next to us that is not parked very straight in his truck. And then he looked over here old. like, I don't know what weirdo's doing. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm not ageist. Let's go. I'll put his face out. Okay, anyway, um, so I got this box in the P.O. box and it was from a girl named Tara who actually lives pretty close to us, um, city-wise. Our cities are nearby. Anyway, the note says, Hello, I followed your sweet family for a while and your story has touched my heart. Beckett and Mallory are so lucky to have such amazing parents. I hand paint pegs and I wanted to make this gift for you. I hope you will treasure this family portrait and that it will bring a little happiness to your hearts when you see it. Love, Tara. And I haven't opened it yet, but I just want to show her. So if you go to Instagram, it's my little pegs. At my little pegs. Instead of pony, it's little pegs. So then this is the box. And I'm like so excited because um, someone I follow on Instagram, their daughter has been obsessed with this peg man and I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. But anyway, I just thought Mallory would like it. But, oh my gosh. Okay, oh my gosh. You're going to love these. You're going to love these. I'm going to show Tyson's first. You're going to love these. Oh, look at it, it's Tyson. <laughs> and his beard and his shirt. That's you. <laughs> 
Oh, then he's an ass. Look, at, it's me in my maternity dress with the shawl that I'm actually even wearing today. But look, guys, there's pink in my hair. <laughs> she even got those details right. And then, oh, here's Beckett. And look at on the back of Beckett. He's got his wings. And then, oh, <laughs> it's a Mal in her pink sweater. And look at her headband. Oh, guys, look how cute. It's our little family. I love it. <laughs> it's like the sweetest thing ever. Our little babes. Mallory doesn't get to chew on these pegmen. <laughs> no, no. But now I know where to go to get a pegman for Mallory to like chomp on. Like, it's Tara from Rad and Happy's baby, not this Tara that makes them, but. Look at our little family. That is the sweetest thing ever. Ignore my bad nail polish, but... <laughs> oh, I should swap and then we'll be in height order. Oh, what do you think? That's Here's cute. Going, huh? Yeah, I like it. Oh, we have to find like, the most perfect spot. Tara, thank you. That was so, so thoughtful. I'm going to have to go check out her Instagram right now because that is like so perfect. I love it. No, I was just looking at the Instagram. Things like that don't make us sad. It's just not. Oh, yeah, so she said, I hope it, hope it makes them happy and not sad. And it's not sad. Like it just, <laughs> any little memorials like that, like even when it it's touching and, uh, you know, it could almost make us cry, but not in a sad way. It's just like nice to have something to remember. Him. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> I push the button. Mm, I'm zoom in. And then I think, okay, so Tanya was saying to check the P.O. box, but we got something else that doesn't have a name on it. So I'll have to check and see if this is from Tanya. But look at how adorable these leggings are. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. It's like, it'll be so cute with some onesies. Like, oh. And they're so soft. I don't know how to explain how soft they are. They're from Buskins. Yeah. At first I was like, they're did microfiber. I order some microfiber? Pretty sure. So we can clean our camera with... I mean, I feel like it's like <laughs> a microfiber. Like it's a type of it. They're so soft. Like a little spongy. And the waistband isn't like too tight. Like Mallory doesn't like when the waistband is tight on her belly. So sometimes I don't put pants on her because she doesn't like the waistband. I mean, who likes the waistband to be tight? But. Those are adorable. So I'm gonna have to find out if those are from Tanya or if her um, thing she sent us hasn't arrived. But if I'm gonna need you to wrap it up, cause um, Amy says I'm shaky when I hold the camera, oh. and then I've been holding it for almost five minutes. Okay, well we'll wrap this so up. So if this is guys, really you. shaky, Stop. it's my fault because uh, I'm old and stuff. Oh gosh, but we just wanted to make sure that you guys know how thankful we are again. Okay. Our P.O. box right. is not for, like, you don't have to send us gifts. It's for cards and business stuff, like letters and stuff. So yeah. please don't feel like you have to send us stuff. But, I mean, thank you, though. Thank you for thinking of us. That's beyond generous. I'm sure none, none of you feel like you have to, but, Those yeah, are some really it. sweet things. Whoops, I'm filming that again. Okay, we gotta go. I did a bad thing. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, you gonna end the vlog with me? <laughs> yeah. It's exciting. We're gonna end the vlog together? Oh, yeah. What do you have to say? Oh, uh, you gonna say happy Easter for those who celebrate it and happy weekend for those who don't. Huh. <gasps> Who's that? Is that Mrs. Mel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, dudes, so we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I just want to take a minute to quickly remind you that tomorrow is April Fool's Day and as a friendly happy reminder if you are planning on doing a fake pregnancy announcement please don't that are not funny and quite frankly it's kind of an outdated joke anyway like it's been overplayed a million times so kind of no use doing it huh come up with new material right so just remember that there's so many people who struggle and I know I get a lot of pushback every year of people who are like well I'm a lost parent and I think it's a hilarious joke okay but you're in the minority you never know who is looking at your pregnancy announcement and wishing with all their heart that it was them or someone who's struggling with infertility or just had a miscarriage or bye <laughs> or 
anything of that nature. So just remember to be sensitive with your jokes. She's just done. <laughs> anyway, that is my tangent for April Fools, but you guys know. I just try to just try to remember that there's always people struggling. So we are going to end this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Happy Easter. And we will see you next time. Say goodbye. <gasps> Let it go. Ah, no.